Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome to the Power Gathering with your own Dr. Tanya Williams. Grateful, thankful, and excited for another day in the land of the living. Good morning, babies. Good morning to you. I miss you guys so, 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 so much. I thank God for the opportunity that he's calling us together for such a time as this. Uh, great is our God and greatly to be praised. And I'm excited about what he's doing in this hour, this season, and this time. For those of you that are coming on, uh, talk to me, even if it's just a good morning so I can see you. Um, I thank God for those of you that are on the conference call conference call line good morning mother bar good morning marissa i see you good morning doreen danielle jay darlene uh good morning to you i know hearts and love cynthia gazelle good morning to you i miss you guys so so much those of you that's coming on just post so i can see you uh good morning linda deborah good morning to you uh, good morning. I'm just really excited about what God is doing. I miss you guys so much. I'm working. I'm working with a team to try to try to stream stream live from the church. So I uh, wanted to do it this weekend, but we still haven't got all the graphics together. But um, hopefully by uh, next week, if not next week, definitely the first uh, Saturday in July. We'll definitely be up and running and moving. But good morning to each and every one of you. Good morning, Deborah, Sandra, Vivian, Faith. Uh, good morning. I know I miss you guys. Good morning, Denise, Janine, Althea, Sonora, Sandra. Oh, my God. I miss you guys. I know everybody said we miss you too. I know, I know, I know. We have to be safe, you know, during during this hour. The Lord is... um. He called us for such a time as this, but we thank God we still have these platforms that we can still come and meet. Those of you that do not have Facebook or social media, remember, if you do want to listen to the um, uh, Roma prayers or the Power Gathers or the Power Sunday, again, you can go to my YouTube. If you have access to Internet, you could go to my my youtube page if you need help getting to the you the the youtube page you could call any one of my staff members they'll be more than happy to show you how to get to the youtube page and you can play these things over good morning mother hamilton good morning esmita good morning alfredo good Fredo. good morning uh pastor josephine joseph Again, let's keep Pastor Josephine Joseph up in prayer. She lost her brother. She lost her brother. So let's so, so let's send her some um love and and um, some hugs. Okay, she lost her brother, and uh, also to Karen Bentley, who also uh frequents the uh aroma after aroma prayer everything. Uh, she's on mostly everything. She also lost her her brother as well. So let's keep them up in prayer. Uh, morning, Denise, Mother Hamilton, Veronica, Lady Veronica, Lady Penny. Good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for taking the opportunity to join me this morning on the Power Gathering. And I just want to say for some of you that were not on the Keeping the Momentum of Prayer this morning, I had given, good morning, Mother Johnson, good morning, Mother, Mother Gail Johnson, good morning, Danielle. Of uh, those of you that were not on the Keeping the Momentum of Prayer this morning, next Saturday will be my last Keeping the Momentum of Prayer. It'll be a full eight years that I have done the Keeping the Momentum of Prayer. I started July 1st. Um, 2012 and so i'll be ending the last saturday in june which would give us eight full years eight full years because the next saturday will be july 4th so eight full years that i've done the keeping the momentum of prayer and i believe that one door now has to close so another door will open i spoke to fat pastor frampton he still will be playing some of my former recordings uh during that that time so you can go out there even on Saturday mornings at 7 a.m. and I will be there. It won't be me live, but it will be all the eight years worth of recordings that I have. He'll be pulling from the archive and he will be sharing the sharing the recordings. So you guys will still have that as we continue on. Um, let me see. Many of you, I didn't get a chance to say hello. I said Mother Johnson, Danielle. Morning, Leslie. Good morning, Melissa. Nancy, Jacqueline, Gaselle, Faith, Mary. 
uh, Sister Pato, Linda, Susie, Sandra. I thank you. I thank you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Mother Hamilton. She said, congratulations, Dr. Job. Well done. Let me tell you something. That keeping the momentum. I did it every Saturday. The only Saturday that I missed was last last week. Every Saturday. If I was not on that call, somebody was on that call. If it was a half an hour, I was faithful to that assignment that God has given me. So now I'm moving on. I'm not going to stop what I'm doing. I'm moving on. You guys still have me. Uh, Sundays, a uh, power Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, aroma of prayer, and Saturday. I was actually doing two times on Saturday. Saturday, 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. And most of you, I was I was speaking to the same people. So I said, you know what? Let me just condense it to the 10. And then this way, you guys get 100% of me on Saturday instead of 50 and 70, 7 a.m. and 50 and 10 and 10 a.m. Plus, I am doing classes during the week. Those of you that are part of my Watchman Anointing class, that is two hours that we are teaching and marking papers. So, you know, um, I have to make sure that I am used wisdom. And also, too, I'm working on another class. So, once we finish the Watchmen, I'm going to give you guys a break. And once we finish the Watchmen, I'll give you guys a break. And then there's going to be another class that I'm going to be doing. So, I want to really get you guys uh, built up and strengthened and and kind of and kind of get you moving and you know really get this word in you and you guys be built up thank you thank you everybody say so you've been faithful i try i try to be faithful to my assignment that's one thing about me you guys know when when i have an assignment i am faithful to to that assignment if i can't do it i have many people uh Reverend Gaskin, I had uh, Ty McDowell, I had Pastor Jordan, I had Pastor Frampton, uh, Lady Hickman, others, my team, uh, Marcy, Nadine, uh, Dr. Thompson, they all stood in the gap for me as I was uh, standing in the gap, you know, had to maybe preach or travel on a plane or whatever, they stood in the gap and I believe that this is the hour now. This is the hour now that for me, and I and I actually was going to do it at the end of last year, 2019. It was in my heart to do it, and I said, Lord, I hope I'm not off. And then I saw Jake's. He was he was uh uh ending the chapter of his Woman Dara Loose conference. So I said, okay, I. I am not off. Whenever you have something, children, you want to make sure you leave it on a strong, good note. And again, I'm still, my numbers are still are still good. We're keep, keeping a momentum. It still has a good following and a reach. But I believe that it's time now to close that chapter. Amen. It's time. But like I said, Pastor Framton, he will be playing uh, some of my old ones. So that spot will still be on for many of you to go and um, to listen to and uh, being blessed. Amen. Amen. So today I am excited. I see that many of you. Good morning, Prophet Mitch. Good morning, Idania. Uh, thank you so much, you guys, for coming and joining. Good, good morning, Annette. Okay, so as we go forth today, I want to share the word of the Lord. I told you that hopefully I wanted to do it this weekend, but my graphic people, they're still working on them. Um, designing the plat platform so i'm looking to either do i'll let you know if not next week probably the first weekend in in july i will be back in the church you'll be physically seeing me i don't know i don't know something might be happening me back in that church i might be preaching and y'all see me run up the aisle and come back down and and and, and even though you guys physically might not be there i'm gonna be laying hands on the chair because you you guys each each of you had your certain seat that you kind of sat with so if i feel a word i feel a word for you i'm gonna go touch your chin i'm gonna prophesy to you amen amen so i'm i'm grateful i'm grateful i'm grateful for all that god is doing also to join join me tonight uh sister chanel she is having, I don't know if Nadine is on the line or Ezlin is on the line, whichever one of you is on the line, or one of you, if you can get the flyer uh, from Chanel, Chanel Ramsey is having uh, her 10 days of prayer at 10, at 10 p.m. Somebody could just put it in the comments, upload the flyer for me of uh, uh, 10 p.m. tonight. I'm going to be with her. I'm going to be with her. I believe the fly might be on my page. If not, you can go to her page. So I um I I have known Chanel since she was a little girl. 
And um, so uh, she's having her 10 days of prayer. And you, and you know how Doc is. But I said, you know what? For people that have been there for me and supported me, it's time now for me to turn around and support them. So I'm going to be on the line with her. And you know that is past my bedtime. So you guys got to really pray for me. <laughs> but uh, I, I will be on the line with her tonight at 10 a.m. So 10 p.m. I'm sorry. So if you guys are up, come and support us tonight as we are praying and we are interceding for this time. Amen. Amen. And then tomorrow, join me 9 a.m. For the Power Sunday. Have we been having some church on Sunday morning? I was sharing with somebody the other day. I said, I have an oil for this for this Sunday morning. It was one that I was trying to stay away from. I'm like, God, there's so many churches and so many people doing so many things on Sunday that... Um, that um that that I thought that it would be too um too much, but but for some of you, you guys are there. You guys are of are, are um uh, supporting me and and um it's just been a blessing. And many people have been coming back to me and they've been telling me how blessed how blessed they have been, how blessed they have been during during this time. And I'm really excited about about what God is doing and the things that he is doing in this hour. So as you come on, I just uh, thank you so much for just for just being a blessing to me and just um, you no, know, just being blessed by uh, the word, the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I am trying to just give me a second. I, you know, Doc, I, I am always, um, let me see. If it will let me know, it only gives me. I can only post a comment. Okay, so um, I'll I'll actually post it in my um in the group or Nadine, if you can post the flyer in the group because it has the um the information to um to to join tonight. Amen. Amen. So as we go forth today, my topic, the word, the word that God gave me today for for this group right here because you guys always get a, spe a special word in this group and uh and uh, people are like oh dr williams i don't understand why you have it in the group you should have it for everybody no because the lord spoke to me and said these you 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 guys are the supporters you guys are the ones that you know press your way for those of you who could could not come but you are still always supporting and praying i appreciate it and the doors open for you to be on it but for those of you that was pressing your way coming out Saturday mornings and ensuring that we had the building and everything you know the Lord always has a special word for you and I'm grateful so this morning I was I was up and I was really seeking seeking the Lord on what um he wanted me to share for the people today and he gave me the word and the word the word of the Lord this morning is that you've been handpicked by God You've been handpicked by God. Some of you, you've been challenged because it seemed like things aren't going the way that you feel it should go. Or maybe people aren't gravitating to you the way that you feel that they should be gravitating to you. Or the doors are not opening the way that you feel that you, they should be opening. You know, you feel like you're doing the right thing. You're, you're trying to live the best way that you know how. And the list goes on. And it seems like things aren't working working out for you the way that they should be working out for you. Well, I want to encourage you today, and I want to l let you know, children of God, I want to let you know that you have been handpicked by God. No matter what the enemy is trying to do, no matter what the enemy is trying to um, say, you have a special place in and the heart of God, you you have a special place that what the 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 Lord is is forever mindful of you. And sometimes you will feel this way because people won't understand the oil that God has placed on your life. So sometimes when people don't understand the oil that God has placed on on your life, they they tend to shy to shy away for it, or they think there's something wrong with you. But I come to let you know that there is nothing. That is wrong with you, okay? There is nothing that is wrong with you. Do not allow the enemy to pull up a chair on you and 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 make you feel as though as though something is wrong with you. I come to encourage you today and let you know that you are unique. 
God has made you unique. And because the Father has made you unique, I want you to flow in the oil that God has given you. Amen? Amen. So the scripture that I want to uh, uh, share on today, my topic is, you've been handpicked by God. I have been handpicked by God. I'm going to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 26 through 29. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 26 through 29. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm gonna, I'm, tr I'm trying to do these hours of powers. Because I know sometimes other people get on the line. They be up there for 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 hours. I don't want to do that to you. So I want to give you that hour. I don't want to give you too much but just enough to get you fired up. Amen. First, First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 26 through 29. Reading from the King James Version. The Bible says, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. That no flesh should glory in his presence. Okay. So we know when we see here that God is the one that chooses. And God, and God doesn't always always choose what people feel should be chosen let me say that again God doesn't always choose what people think that should be chosen you might not have the look like others you might not have the um, oracle stance like others you might not had the education as others uh, and the list goes on uh, but God has chosen you for a time like this I am handpicked by God I want you to lay your hands on yourself and say I am handpicked by God God has chosen me uh, he he's chosen me out of my situations he's chosen me out of me he's chosen me out of the way I might think about myself how people might have viewed me and I've taken that on but I uh, God, God has chosen me for such a time as this. And we're going to talk about God choosing us. When we think about the word handpicked, you know, God, I always like to go to the dictionary. I always like to get an understanding of, of what God is saying through the meaning of the words that he's giving us. So this morning he said handpicked. He did not even say, you know, it, it, which means chosen. But he, you, he used the word handpicked this morning. And so when I went to the dictionary... And and the word handpicked, it means to select personally without, with thoughtful, careful consideration of the quality and characteristics. Let me stop right there and let me break, break that down to you. When something is handpicked, it is selected personally. That means that he didn't, God didn't get the angels to pick you. He didn't get the demons to pick you. He didn't get nobody else to pick you. He chose you himself. So when you are handpicked, it means that you, you are selected personally. And not only are you selected, there is thought with it. There is careful consideration, you know, with it. Or with the qualities and your character, your characteristics. Let me break it down, give you an understanding. Okay, how many of us go to the supermarket? We are in the fruit area. When you have fruit, like say, I am a fruit baby. I I am a lover of the summer fruit. That's cherries. That's plums. That's peaches. I love that. I know some of you love the mangoes too. But I am peaches, plums, cherries, strawberries. So usually with the strawberries, they already come in a container. So you try to look around and try to see, you know, if you got a good a good bunch before you put that in your shopping cart. But sometimes with the cherries, uh, you can go and they have them in the basket, and you can take your time and you could choose the ones that you want. Like say for me for cherries, I don't like them too too dark i like them like that maroon color but not but, but but not black dark i like them like that maroon darkish color so i get them and i like them kind of hard some people like their cherry sore but i like them kind of on the hard side so when i am choosing i am now hand selecting the cherries that i am putting 
in my bag. And then, of course, you know how some of us do. We take a little taste test to make sure that these cherries taste the way that we want them to taste before we put them in the bag. So you take the time to hand pick. Then I go to the plums. I do the same thing. I got to make sure that it's a certain firmness uh, that it has. Because uh, I, I don't like no mushy, no mushy plum. Uh, so I make sure that it is what I like. And so I hand select it. I thought for consideration. I just don't pick it up. I squeeze it. I look at it. Make sure it doesn't have any major bruises on it. I make sure that it's okay looking. Smell it sometime. Make sure it doesn't have an odor. And I put it in my bag. Same thing with my peaches. Uh, so what am I saying? I'm taking the time to do what? Hand pick my fruit. Because I want to make sure that what I'm putting in the bag, what I am paying for, that which I'm paying a price for, that I am happy with the product. Uh huh. So God hand picks us. Now you understand we're hand picked because what? God, God knew us. He chose us from the foundation of the world. Why? Because the Lord knows your quality and he knows your characteristics he knows the quality of who you are he knows the char the characteristics uh, he knows the character that is down on the inside of you what does the bible say let's go back to samuel when it talks about david it said man looks at the outer appearance but God knows the heart God knows the inner man and because God knows who we are he knows our character not only does God God know our character he knows the quality of the person and which we are so when you have been hand picked when you have been hand selected uh, when you have been chosen uh, what does that do it says you you are God 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 has selected you personally with a Thoughtful, careful consideration. Oh my God, I want to run because I feel this thing, but I got a key. I got a key. Keep myself calm. I want you to lay your hands on yourself and say, God considered me. Out of all the people in the world, out of all the people on my block, out of all the people in my home, out of all the people on my job, out of all the people in in my church, God considered me. Oh, God, God had thoughtful and careful consideration of me. Oh, I don't know about you, that that there right there makes me want to run. So when people try to make you feel that you ain't this and you're not that and, and you might not be the the, 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 shi the shiny new toy of the hour or whatever the case it might be, you got to know that God, God personally selected you and he had what? Thoughtful and careful consideration. Yes, sir. He had thoughtful and careful consideration. Now, see, children of God, you were singled out. Uh-huh. You were singled Single out by the person who has a personal interest uh, in the object being selected. Oh my God! Oh, I want to run, Lord, 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 keep me calm this morning. Keep me calm. To you are singled out by God. You are singled out by God. Why? Because God has a personal interest in you. Uh huh. You, God has a personal interest in you. Uh, that's why you are selected. Yes, that's why you are selected. Why? Because He has a personal interest in you. Yes, in you. No matter what the devil tries to do to pull up a chair and tries to make you feel, oh, look at you. You don't have this. You don't have that. You don't have this. You, 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 you speak back to that devil and you tell that devil I've been handpicked by God I've been handpicked by God because my God has thoughtful careful consideration of me he has a personal interest in me and that's why God has selected me that's why God has selected you that's why God has selected you. See, this, this, the way when something is handpicked, this task is not to be delegated or rushed, but, but must be done deliberately, uh, with intention and great care, since the object being selected is for a specific purpose. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Ah, uh, see, God did not delegate his selection of you to anybody else. Uh huh. God did not rush his selection to anybody else. Uh huh. But it was deliberate. God chose you. Why? Because he was deliberate and he was intentional and he had great care. Why? Because he because he selected you for a specific purpose. Yes, God did. He selected you 
for a specific purpose. So because God has selected you for a specific purpose, every now and then when the devil tries to make you look at the things that you don't have and, and the things that you've gone through, honey, sometimes you lift up your hands and you say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I've been handpicked by God. Yes, I have. I've been handpicked by God. I have been carefully selected, uh, chosen for a purpose, uh huh, in preference to another. Yes, yes, yes. He could have chose somebody else, but he chose me uh, for such a time as this. Uh, the oil that I carry, uh, because because God selected me. Uh, uh, the places that I am, uh, because God selected me. Uh, I want you to be encouraged today, uh, cause every now and then the enemy pulls up a chair on you. Uh, every now and then the enemy tries to speak into your ear, uh, but I come to encourage you today, uh, and I come to let you know, uh, you have been handpicked by God. Yes, uh-huh, you have been chosen. Uh, you have been selected uh, for such a time as this. Uh, I want you to lay your hands on yourself and say, I am handpicked. Yes, I am handpicked. I am handpicked. I am handpicked by God. Yes, sir. In Jeremiah chapter 1, and verse 5, the Bible says, I chose you before I formed you in the womb. I, I set you apart before you were born. You were chosen. Before you were even formed in your mother's womb, you was already set apart. His hand was on you. You have been chosen. God selected you. Do you hear me, children of God? God select you, selected you. Before you were ever born, God knew you. He planned for you and chose you. Yes, you wasn't an accident. Maybe for your natural parents, you might have been an accident. But let me tell you something. You were not an accident by God. You were planned for such a time as this. Why? Because God has approved you. Huh? Yes, he has approved you and deposited greatness in you. Uh-huh. Ooh, if I had the approval stamp, honey, I would, you know, I want you to take your hand, take your hand and just see that we, 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 we got to do some role praise right now. I want you to take your hand and I want you to see the word approved in the palm of your hand. And I want you to take your hand and just hit your forehead. Uh, uh huh. Because you have been approved by God. Yes, you have. He, God has approved you and deposited greatness in you. Yes, you have an approval. Uh, but not only do you have an approval, uh, there is greatness in you. Why? Because it has been deposited from Elohim. Yes, from El Shaddai. Uh huh. From Adonai. Uh huh. That, that deposit is there. That greatness is there down on the inside of you uh, and you have been approved uh, you may have been overlooked by people in your life uh-huh they may have talked about you uh they may have lied about lied on you uh they may try to block you and do all kinds of ungodly things uh, but i come to let you know uh, that god will not overlook you uh-huh god will not overlook you uh because the lord has handpicked you uh-huh you are god's most valued possession uh, you are special uh, I want you to prophesy to yourself and say, I am God's value possession. I'm, uh, I am special. I am the apple of his eye. Uh, he knows everything about me. Uh, he even knows the number of hairs uh, that is on my head. Uh, he has given me the gifts uh, and abilities uh, that I have for a purpose. Uh, that what? Because I carry great value and I carry great power. Yes, you do, children of God. You carry great value. And you carry great power. So when the enemy tries to come and make you feel, well, you can't talk like this one. Huh? And you can't expound the word like this one. Huh? God has a purpose for you. Huh? You've been handpicked. Huh? You've been chosen by God. Huh? You have great value. You, you have great power. There are gifts and abilities huh? that that is on you in this hour. Huh? Even the hairs on your head is numbered. Huh? You are the apple of his eye. Uh, you are special. Uh, you are his value possession. Uh, and today I come to encourage you uh, to let you know, uh, don't lose sight of the treasure he's placed within you. Do you hear me? Don't lose sight of the treasure he's placed within you. Uh, greatness is within you. Uh, 
Greatness is within you. Uh, greatness is within you. Uh, don't lose sight. Don't lose sight. Uh, uh, the enemy might try to come and bring a smoke screen. Uh, or he tries to come to black you out. Uh, and you and you forget who you are. Uh, but I don't need you uh, in this hour to listen to the voice of a stranger. Uh, but I need you in this hour to listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh, and he is saying to you this morning, uh, don't lose sight of the treasure he's placed within you. Uh, greatness is within you. Uh, greatness is within you. Uh, greatness is within you. Uh, you've been handpicked by God. Yes, sir. Uh, and before, and but before you and I were ever born, uh, and before the very foundations of the earth were formed, uh, God chose us. Uh, you are not no mere accident. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, 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 God knows ex God knows exactly what he's doing. Um, uh, I know one thing that what the uh, uh, all things Romans 8 and 28 um, all things work together for the good uh, to those that love God uh, to those who are called according to his purpose. Uh, God has approved us um, and called us his own. Yes he has. Uh, you may have been overlooked by people um, you may have been overlooked by your friends. Uh, you might have been overlooked by your family. Uh, you might have been overlooked Overlooked by your leaders, uh, wherever area of your life that you have been overlooked. Uh, ah, maybe you've been overlooked by someone uh, whose opinion you actually cared about. Uh, you might have had somebody tell you, uh, oh, you're not going to be nothing. Uh, you're not going to have nothing. Uh, look at you. You're this, you're that, you this. Uh, but let me tell you something. Uh, I want you to remember this. Uh, God will not or uh, will not ever overlook you. He will never overlook you like that uh, because you have been handpicked. Uh, you have been chosen by him. Ah, uh, uh, yes, God. Uh, the Lord, he cares for you, children. Uh, do you hear me, children of God? Uh, the Lord cares for you. He cares for you. He cares for you. Uh, he chose you to be set apart uh, from the world for a greater purpose. Uh, he chose you in this hour. Uh, I put a unique oil on you. Uh, I put a unique anointing on you. Uh, I put the, the things that you have been through in in, in your life. Uh, your different experiences uh, was not for naught. Uh, it was a part of the making. Uh, it was part of the shaking. Uh, why? Because your greater is coming. Uh, I come to encourage you today uh, and I come to let you know uh, that rejection of man uh, is not rejection of God. Uh, I'm sorry children but I feel my hikamashaya coming on. Right time I see uh, rejection of man uh, is not rejection of God. Uh, man Man might reject you, uh, but God won't reject you. Uh. Man, man might put you down, uh, but God won't put you down. Uh. Do you hear me, children of God? Do you tell my soul? Yes, Lord. Uh, I want this to sink in. Uh. I want this to get down in your belly. Uh. I want this to get down in your spirit. Uh, that you are one of God's most valued possessions. Uh. You are special. Uh. You are called and chosen uh, for such a time as this. Uh, he knows everything about you. Haya uh, my soto bahaya. He kanana masia. You got to know the promise. Uh, you got to know the promise. Uh, just like I said in Jeremiah 1 and 5. Uh, he said, before I formed thee in the belly, uh, I knew thee. Uh, let me just stop right there. Huh? God knows you. Huh? How did God know you? Uh, ah, God have my see. Uh, he said, before I formed thee in the belly, uh, I knew thee. Uh, and before that came forth out of the womb, uh, I sanctified thee. Uh, and I ordained thee. Uh, and he's talking to Jeremiah the be a prophet unto the nations. Huh? But I want to let you know huh, that not only God formed you, huh, but he knew you. Huh? Ah, and before you came forth, huh, he sanctified you. Huh? So I've been formed by God. Huh? God, because God knew me, huh? and I've been sanctified. Huh? I've been set apart. Huh? Let's break this scripture down here. Huh? Yes, Lord Jesus. Huh? Ah, when we think about the word new, huh, it comes back from the word to know. Uh, the verb to know has much more meaning uh, than simply being aware of. Uh, it carries the idea uh, of recognition of the worth uh, and purpose of him who is known. Uh, I come to let you know, uh, God knows your worth. Uh, he recognizes your worth. Uh, yeah, and not only he recognizes your worth, uh, there is a purpose uh, that God has placed in you. Uh, and it will come to fruition. Uh, heaven and earth shall pass away, uh, but his word 
word shall stand forever. Huh? Ah, see, God knew Jeremiah. Huh? God chose Jeremiah. Huh? And God appointed Jeremiah. I want you to change that sentence. Huh? And I want you to put your name in it. Huh? God knows Tanya. Huh? God chose Tanya. Huh? And God has appointed Tanya. Huh? Whatever your name is today. Huh? Ah, God knows you. Huh? God chose you. Huh? And God has appointed you. Yes, sir. Huh? You've been high on my sea. Huh? God knows you. Huh? God chose you. Huh? And God uh, and God has appointed you. Huh? See, you got to remember this. Huh? That the Lord knows you by name. Huh? You've been handpicked by God. Huh? You've been commissioned huh? by the Holy Ghost. Huh? High on my sea. Huh? Those acts give one great sense of purpose. Huh? The promises of God. Huh? How am I see? Huh? A yea and amen. Huh? And see, we got to know. Huh? And just let me break this down to you. Huh? When you've been handpicked by God, huh? they might call you foolish. Huh? They might call you weak. Huh? They might call you base. Huh? They might call you despised. Huh? They might say things that are not. Huh? But let me tell you what God calls you. Huh? God calls you a chosen generation. Huh? God calls you a royal royal priesthood. Huh? God calls you a holy nation. Huh? God calls you his own special people. Huh? He calls you the children of light. Huh? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Huh? It doesn't matter what others think. Huh? It's what God thinks. Huh? See, because when people know huh, that you got a call of God on your life huh? and you've been marked by God, huh? that you've been handpicked by God, huh? the enemy will try to come huh? and try to disqualify you in the natural, huh? but you can't disqualify me huh, when I've been chosen by God. Huh? You can't disqualify me huh, when the hand of God is upon my life. Huh? You can't disqualify me huh, when I've been appointed by God. Huh? See, you got to know one thing, huh, that when you are chosen by God, huh, this was done before the foundation of the world, huh? before your neighbor knew you, huh? before your so-called friend knew you, huh? before your enemy knew you, huh? before those that have an opinion about about you, huh? you were already chosen. Huh? It was already set in place huh? from the foundation of the world. Huh? Do you hear me, children of God? Huh? He chose you because he loves you. Huh? He chose you because he knows that you are special in his eyes. Huh? Just like the Apostle Paul, huh? when we read in the New Testament, huh? he uses the word chosen, huh? but every now and then huh? he uses the word elect huh? when speaking about his chosen. Huh? So I want you to prophesy to yourself huh, and say, I am the elect of God. I am the elect of God. Huh? I am the elect of God. Huh? I am the elect of God. Huh? Do you hear me, children of God? Huh? See, when you are the elect of God, huh? it means that you have been handpicked by God. Huh? You've been handpicked by God. Huh? So we now uh, must come into the knowledge uh, of who we are. Huh? So we are what we must walk uh, in our true identity. Huh? We must lay our hands on ourselves huh? and say, I am chosen by God. Huh? Do you hear me, children of God? Huh? I am chosen by God. Huh? I am chosen. I am chosen. I am chosen. I am chosen. Huh? Every lie that was set upon me, huh? it's going to fall to the ground. Huh? Every door they try to close on me, huh? God's getting ready to open it. Huh? Every blanket they try to put on me to cover me, huh? God is getting ready to reveal me. Huh? You got to know that you are God's chosen. Huh? Oh, he's your public relation. Huh? He's the one that's going to go before you. Huh? He's the one that's going to make the crooked places straight up. Huh? He's the one that's going to hew, uh, hew down every mountain and elevate every valley. Huh? You are the elect of God. Huh? You are the elect of God. Huh? And when you know who you are huh? and you know what God has called you to do, huh? it gives you a greater level of confidence huh? knowing that God is saying this to you. Huh? Huh, Messiah? Huh? See, you got to know that you know that you know who you are. Huh? Because when you don't know who you are, huh? the enemy pulls up a cheer huh? and he may makes you feel as though huh? you are opposite to what the word says. Huh? But I want to prophesy to you huh? and let you know you are the elect of God. Huh? You are the elect of God. Huh? Uh, when you are handpicked, when you are handpicked. Huh? See, sometimes we forget that we are chosen. Sometimes we forget that we are chosen. 
you're going, you're getting so busy, and, and you're getting warfare and trials and tribulation is coming at, and sometimes you get, you know, like, you know, nobody knows the trouble I've seen, you nobody knows my sorrow, you know, we just get to a place uh, where we just start to feel, start to feel that way, uh, but honey, God knows, uh, why does God know? Because he knew you before you were formed in the womb. Uh, he knows what he has deposited down on the inside of you. Uh, he knows what he's stirring up in you. Uh, he knows what he's stirring up through you. Uh, and I come to encourage you today uh, that you might forget uh, that you are carefully handpicked by God. Uh, but I come to remind you today. Uh, I come to stir you up today. Ha! Uh, ah, that you might be placed. Uh, and some circumstances uh, and it might not seem that you don't have an understanding of it uh, but I'm telling you there is a reason and a season uh, for what you're going through right now uh, uh, because God is getting ready uh, to release your value uh, God is getting ready uh, to release your worth uh, uh, God has designed you uh, to be a person uh, and you are a person of purpose uh, you are unique and you are special uh, and God does not see you some, he does, God does not see your same potential uh, in anybody else. Uh, we are valued because we belong to him. We are valuable because we belong to him. Do you hear me children? We are valuable because we belong to him. And because we belong to the, to, 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 to the most high God. To the king of kings and the Lord of lords. It lets us know that God is mindful of us. He gave me this word today to encourage you. He gave me this word today to stir you up. Your purpose may be to influence someone around you. Your purpose may be to encourage someone who is in need. Your purpose might be to direct that one person to Jesus. It might be your family member. It might be your child, your relative, or somebody that you just meet as you go about your day but understand this and know one thing that God knows why he has placed you on this life he knows why why he has paid, placed the life that he's given you you and I are handpicked to touch someone I want you to know that I'm speaking into you right now and I'm prophesying over your life you are handpicked to touch someone. You may not get a podium to preach to thousands, but if we get to influence one, our purpose in life is fulfilled. Do you hear me? We never know whether that one person is going to touch millions or not. Let us live this day as though tomorrow is not ours. Give God our best. It's time to give God our best. Well, Dr. Williams, give God our best. Yes, give God our best. Many of you, you feel a certain way because you have been overlooked by others. But I come to let you know that you've been handpicked by God. Well, Dr. Williams, I don't understand what you're saying to me. Well, you know what? I found a Bible character that I'm going to share with you to let you know that the same way that God was faithful to him. He's going to be faithful to you. In Acts chapter 13 verse 22. In the NIV version. It says. After removing Saul. He made David their king. He testified concerning him. I have found David. Son of Jesse. A man after my own heart. He will do everything. I want him to do. Despite how others saw David. His own propensity to sin. And lack of position even in his own family. Even his father brought all his brothers before Samuel and left him out in the field. David was handpicked by God. He was handpicked by God. He was the one that was thrown away. He was the one that was put to the side. And even with the oil placed on him. He still had a season when he was running for his life. But he was handpicked by God. He was handpicked by God. David was overlooked by everyone else, but handpicked by God. To his older brothers, David was a pest. 
to his father Jesse he was just the younger son to onlookers he was just a shepherd boy but to God he was the one destined to be king and not just any king mm, not just any king his lineage was the one from whom Jesus would come the person that they put to the side was the person that now would be standing before great people and his name would resound for generations after. In 1 Samuel 16, God tells Samuel that he he has rejected Saul as king and chosen one of Jesse's sons to be the replacement. Think of the list of qualifications that must have run through Samuel's mind for such a position. Tall, smart, articulate, brave, groomed, well-mannered, and a natural-born leader. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his outward appearance or his height, for I have rejected him, meaning Saul who had these qualities. The Lord does not look at the thing, things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Stop worrying about being everybody else and just be you. Ah, lay your hands on yourself and say, just be me, just be me, just be me, just be me. Yes, sir, just be me, just be me, just be me. Yeah, Samuel had Jesse line up all of his sons before him. All of them were to be looked at. Yet Jesse didn't, d does not call David in from tending the sheep. Was this an oversight? Was this an assumption? Was this a judgment call? Was this necessary? Was this a necessity? Or was this a deliberate choice? Some of you have felt like Je uh, uh, a Jesse. Some of you have felt like David with Jesse. When the roll call was called, you wasn't part of the number. When the meetings was called, you wasn't part of the number. Was it an oversight? Was it an assumption? Was it a judgment call? Was it a necessity? Or was it a deliberate choice? Some of you have been hurt behind that. Because you felt as though you were, you were an afterthought instead of the first choice. Samuel passes on each of Jesse's sons and, and then asks, Are these all the sons you have? I imagine Jesse's expression replying, There is still the youngest, but he is tending sheep. An afterthought. Surely one who spends his time taking care of animals is not the one to take care of a nation. But ha, little did he know that as David was taking care of the sheep, he was in pastoral care 101. He was in kingship 101. See, despise not where God has you right now. Because God has you in a place where he is working on you. God has you in a place where he is working through you. God, God has you in a place that he knows what is needed. He knows what he's doing in your life. He knows the things that he needs to do for you and through you. So what God is doing, he, 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 he is preparing you. You are in preparation and don't even know what you're in preparation for. You are in preparation and don't even know what you're in preparation for. And as soon as Samuel saw him, he knew he was the one. I want you to lay your hands on yourself and say, I'm the one. 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 Do you hear me? I am the one. They looked upon everybody else. They, they called everybody else to the table. They had the look. They had this. They had that. But one thing they didn't have children. They didn't have the oil. Ah, sha. They didn't have the oil. As soon as Samuel saw him, he knew he was the one. David was anointed to become king, but he was not immediately ushered to the throne. It was years before David would be recognized by the world. So where did he go after being anointed as king? Did he go to school? Did he go to kingship academy? Military training? No, David went to the backside of the mountain. He went to the backside of trials and tribulations. Uh huh. He went back out into the fields and continued to shepherd his flock. A king doing such a lowly task, a king whose character 
was being refined in the fields of everyday life to prepare him for his calling. I come to let you know that what you're going through right now, God is refining you in the fields of everyday life. God is refining you. He's getting you ready. Why? Because he is preparing you for your next. God is preparing you for your next children. God is preparing. How time I saw. God is preparing you for your next. It might look like menial things. But this is where the training is at. Some of you go through some things right now. Well, I don't understand why I'm doing this. And I don't understand why God has me doing that. You are just in the school of the spirit. You are just in the school of the spirit. Because God is working on you. This is where character building takes place. This is where attitude shaping takes place. Huh? This is where soul defining takes place. Huh? This is where our heart is grounded. Oh, let me break this down. Oh, when you are in training, your character is built. Your attitude is shaped. Your soul is defined. And your heart is grounded. Your character is built. Your attitude is shaped. Your soul is defined. And your heart is grounded. All of this takes place in the training room. All of this takes place in the training room. Do you hear me? All of this takes place. How now my soul? All of this takes place in the training room. I want to encourage you today. And let you know that you have been handpicked by God. No matter what the enemy tries to do, no matter what he tries to say, no matter how, how he tries to keep you down, you are in the school of the spirit. God has told us what? We are getting ready for a supernatural turnaround. He told us that we are becoming. He's been speaking words to us to get us ready for our next. Children of God. I come to encourage you today just like I had said to you earlier during the day. That before you were ever born, God knew you, he planned for you, and he chose you. And there, and God has placed his approval on you and has deposited greatness down on the inside of you. I come to encourage you today to let you know that you have been handpicked by God. Yes, you have. You have been handpicked by God. You are special. You are valued. You are the apple of his eye. And every now and then, when the enemy pulls a chair up on you and says, well, look at you. You're this age. Or look at you. You don't have this and you don't have that. I come to remind you as a prophet this morning. That you are handpicked by God. You. You are handpicked by God. And you are being prepared for your next. You are being prepared for your next. Yeah, yeah. We don't like the training room, but the training room is necessary. Yeah, the training room is necessary. When I think about my job, and sometimes we go for training because there's something new. That, that we need to learn or there's something that we've been doing that we need to be refreshed. We need to be refreshed. Whether this was a refresher for you to just remind you that you've been handpicked, selected, the apple of his eye, graven in the palm of his hand and all that wonderful stuff. What did I tell you earlier? You you are what? Uh, a, a, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his special people, and the children of light. And the list goes on. And the list goes on. Whether this was a refresher for you, God just bringing back to your remembrance. Every now and then you get weary in the fight. Every now and then you get weary in the task. task so you need to be reminded. Or you have those that, that maybe you didn't know that you were handpicked by God. Whether you didn't know that you were chosen by God. I come to encourage you today and let you know you have been handpicked by God. So no matter what might come your way, know one thing. I am chosen. I am chosen. I gave, I gave you that definition earlier today. 
you have been personally with thoughtful, careful consideration selected by God. You, not your auntie, your cousin. I'm not saying that they not chosen. I'm not talking about them right now. I'm talking about you. You, 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 you. You have been selected personally with thoughtful and careful consideration. God singled you out because he has a personal interest in you. You have been what? You have been deliberately and intentionally selected because God wants you. He has what? A purpose for your life. So I want you to be encouraged today. I want you to be encouraged today. Do you hear me? You are chosen by God. Prophesy to yourself. Prophesy to yourself and say, I am handpicked by God. I am. I am. Present tense. I am handpicked by God. I am chosen by God. I am selected by God. God has careful consideration when it comes to me. Careful consideration when it comes to me. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for this word on today. I thank you, Lord God, for encouraging the power gatherers. I thank you, Lord God, for encouraging your people as they are on the line and they're being encouraged and strengthened in this time, this season, and this hour. Lord God, I thank you for this word straight from the throne room of God. It wasn't on my agenda, but Lord God, this word was on your agenda. And Father, I thank you. Lord God, I thank you for encouraging us. I, I thank you for admonishing us. Uh, Father God, I thank you, Lord God, for giving us what we need to continue on. Uh, I thank you, Lord God, for being the wind in our backs. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, I thank you, Lord God, for you give us a peace uh, that passeth all understanding. Uh, Father, I thank you, Lord Jesus, that we are the one. Uh, you are the one that have, you have chosen us and selected us uh, for such a time as this. Uh, and Lord God, we thank you for the reminder this morning. Uh, we thank you for the reminder this morning. Uh, just like you chose Jeremiah. Just like you chose Abraham. Uh, just like you chose David. Uh, Lord God, you have chosen us. Uh, and today we say thank you, Jesus. Uh, Lord God, today we say hallelujah, glory to God. Uh, for you are the God of a second, a third, a fourth, and a fifth chance. Uh, and Lord God, even if we have gone astray. Uh, Father, I thank you this day, Lord God, uh, that you strengthen us and and build us up, Father, and get us to where we need to go. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Father, we thank you, Lord God, for all things are done well. Uh, all things are done well. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord God, continue to strengthen us like never before. Uh, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for your word. Uh, we thank you for your keeping power. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for it right now. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Father God, have your way. Hey, Lord God, uh, move by your spirit, Lord God, move, move by your power right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, uh, Father God, strength unto Zion, uh, strength unto Zion, um, oh God, we speak the strength of God, uh, in the name of Jesus, Father God, continue to keep us strong, uh, and Lord God, continue to keep us mighty, uh, in the name of Jesus, and we thank you for it right now, uh, in Jesus name, amen, come on children of God, let's give our Father praise, Let's give him glory. Uh, let's give him honor because it belongs. It belongs to him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, we thank God. We thank God. We thank God for all that he's doing um, and all that he's about to do. Um, I miss each and every one of you. I miss seeing your beautiful faces. Hopefully, I don't know if it'll be by the end of this year or maybe next year we'll be able to get together. But I thank God we still have these social media platforms that we can come together for such a time as this. So I'm going to be trying to go live. I'll let you know when I'll be going live. You actually can see me and we can have church back in in, in the church. But I'm grateful that the word is going forth and the word is going, going forth strong. Amen. Oh, thank you guys. He said, thank you for the word. You're quite welcome. And I want to take a moment to wish each and every one of you all 
all our men on the line that are fathers. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you for all for all our fathers. Uh, all those that are part of the power gathering. Uh, we want to wish you a happy and a blessed Father's Day. Amen. A happy and a blessed Father's Day. Yes, 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 yes. And as we are coming to the first half of the year, uh, June, June 30th, it will be us. Uh, we will enter into the first six months of the year and going into the last six months of the year. And I'm just grateful for what God is doing and grateful for what God is, is doing in the lives of his people. So as you come on today, uh, those of you, we, we sow, we sow our offering. So for those of you that are, that, that, that are part of of the power gathering i have put the information the information is uh in the uh live and it's also as part of the thing so so via paypal zell uh what's the other one cash app and i thank god for your um, continued support uh um i thank god for it. i've been able to to be a blessing to uh, the church, I know that we're all we're all night in it. But I was able to send a donation to 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 them a couple of weeks ago, and I th thank you for your giving. I thank you uh, so much. We continue to keep to keep them over. I know it's 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 uh you know in spite of you know the church is not utilizing the building, you know the rent and other things need to be paid. And I thank you for your consistent you know supplying, and we're able to you know reach out to them and others to to bless. And I just thank you so much for that. And um, I love you guys. I definitely appreciate you guys. I, I see the many of you. Um, I'm looking at the um, things now. Also, too, for those of you who came on late, let's keep Pastor uh, Josephine Joseph up in prayer. She lost her brother. And also uh, Karen um, Bentley. Let's also keep her up in prayer as well. She also lost her brother, too. These are two of our power gatherers. And again... Those of you, if things happen, please text me. Uh, please text me like what uh, uh, Pastor Joseph, she posted on my page earlier on Friday. I didn't see it till late last night because I told you guys I kind of jump on and jump off of, uh, of, of um, um, what's the name, um, Facebook, social media. Uh, unless like one of my team members will see it, they'll call me and let me know. So please, if there's something, a family member passes away, something that is the utmost importance, please make sure that you text me. Text me. There is a number that is out there um, on the a power gathering for a, con a contact number. That's my second phone, so you can text that and don't and and I, I and I want to say one thing because someone called me uh, last night and they made a statement and I want to say this. Guys, I know, and many of you know, that I am a busy person. I get that. But I don't want you to ever use that as an excuse. Well, Dr. Williams, I don't want to bother you because you're busy. Don't do that. If you need me, if something is going on, reach out to me. If I can't get to you right then and there, I will get back to you. But just don't not reach out to me and say, well, I didn't reach out to you because I know you're very busy. You got a lot of stuff going on. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you need me, reach out to me. Do you hear me, children? If you need me, reach out to me. If you need me, reach out to me, okay? I just I, I, I just want to put that out there because someone said to me, well, Dr. Williams, I wanted to call you, but, you know, and again, you know, uh, uh, being, being sensitive. To what to what you need? Some of you call me. Hey, doc, is a nine one one. Even if it's during the week, I try to work around my lunchtime or whatever I have to do to try to try to get to you. So please, please, if you need to get to me, you need prayer about something. Somebody actually called me last week, and I forgot to call them back, so I have to call them back. But um, if you guys need, if you need something, if you leave a message, if I don't get back to you within twenty four hours. Get back to me because sometimes I might have missed it, okay? Because sometimes even in Messenger, sometimes people leave me messages and then when I wake up in the morning, I got 30, 40 messages in Messenger. And some of it is not, it's foolishness. Some of the people send me flowers and videos and all kinds of foolishness. Please, and for those of you that's on the side, do not message me unless, message me if it's a message. Don't message me with, I mean, some of you, like, we have friendships, you send me uh, services and stuff like that. I don't mind that. 
please do do that but just sending me fly uh, flyers of stuff and don't do that because then I got to vet through all of that to see who actually has a message for me okay I do appreciate that and I do thank you also too and let me say this and say this in love for the power gather many of you not all of you have been sharing other different videos to the page I have now blocked that I, I put kindly out there please do not post other things and the reason why I do that and, and I want you to hear my heart I don't mind you posting something if you ask me I don't have a problem with that but when you post something to the group for me it seems like whatever they're doing whatever they're saying I am sanctioning it some of the stuff that was being posted to my to my group I didn't know who these people were I didn't know what they were about and I was removing the post so that's the reason why I said you know please do not post unless you ask me and people continue to do it without asking me so now I blocked it where you cannot post on the page I'm only going to do that for a week because I want to let everybody know what it is and I'm going to open it back up that you guys can start posting again but only post if there's an emergency or something that's needed or you know you need to get to me but do not share other people's videos and stuff especially if I don't know these people okay and then I have the people in the power gathering thinking that I have sanctioned it because you posted it in the power gathering that's just the way you uh, look at this as a church look at this as a church you are not going to have somebody walk into your church and take and take the podium and start speaking that there is what you were doing when you were sharing videos to the group that's how I looked at it so again one voice one voice and what I mean by that I don't mind if it's something that's good you know just like the times I'm there and somebody comes and I and I am relinquish the podium for them to come and speak absolutely but just don't share don't share stuff I don't know who these people are some of it I'm reading them like listening to them like what is this and I just delete it so I just blocked it where we can't post it all okay amen 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 because again you don't know there's different type of doctrines out there many of you many of you that are connected to me mother Hamilton dr. Johnson other people mother mother bar other you guys you guys have known me 15 20 25 years so you know the foundation I've come from you 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 know the doctrine that I have been taught some of these people we don't know and everybody got a live everybody got a zoom everybody got a stream everybody got something but you got to make sure that what you listening to is biblically sound amen biblically sound so again love you guys appreciate you and um, I pray that you go forth again I uh, put the information up when you have time you can sow into the ministry and I will see you tomorrow tomorrow 9 a.m. so children of God as you go forth today be blessed be encouraged have a blessed a wonderful and awesome day in Jesus name God bless you everyone